So in this presentation, I'm trying to help you with the connections in a standard three plate looping method, which is commonly used in domestic dwellings. So this uh, ceiling rose and pendant or batten lamp holder has been opened out to expose the terminations. Let's look at those terminations first. The far left hand side has a block of three, which is identified with an N and that's for neutral within the ceiling rose itself. The center block of three is identified with the word loop and has the permanent line connections coming in and out of it. And the far right hand side is usually identified with the letter L, but is actually a switching line conductor. Now the ones are one that can give you control over the lamp by turning it on and off. If we look at the top two cables, both left and right hand side, they are the supply coming in and the supply going out. For this, I will suggest the left hand side is the supply coming in and the right takes the supply into another room. So if the supply comes in on the left hand side, it will bring in a permanent neutral connection, which is terminated within the neutral block. It will bring in a permanently connected line conductor, which is connected into the loop terminal in the center. And to bring in a circuit protective conductor terminated into the earth connection within the ceiling rose itself. We can now see that the bottom right hand cable is the one simulated to a switch drop. If we see that the switch is say a one way switch, we can see how the switching conductor goes to the switch and returns. We take a permanent line from the looping terminal in the center and goes down to the one way switch and is commonly connected into the common terminal. We have a switching line conductor returning. In this case, they've used twin and CPC cables and the conductor is blue, but identified both ends with brown sleeving because it isn't a neutral, it's a returning switching line conductor and it's terminated in the L terminal, which really is for switching line. So you have control over the lamp. The CPC, once again, is terminated in the earth terminal within the ceiling rose itself. It can be easily altered, this switch drop now, to a two-way or two-way and intermediate switching. The cable, which we've shown here for the switch drop for a one-way switch, would be identical going down if it was a two-way. So with a two-way switching configuration, the drop to the first switch still is in twin and CPC or twin brown. We show twin and CPC cables here, but the terminations will now not be in common and L1. The terminations coming down will come down into L1, and L2, leaving the common terminal without a connection at the moment. We introduce a three core and CPC cable, which links together L1, L2 and common of the first two-way switch, across to L1, L2 and common of the second two-way switch. It will not matter which colors are used in which positions. However, in my college, I like to use black as common. This drawing shows brown as common. And it doesn't matter if you're L1 and L2 in the first switch, are in L2 and L1 the opposite way around in the other, as long as the common cable remains the same. So if you've chosen to use brown common in the three core cable, it must be positioned in the common terminal of the second two-way switch in order for it to function correctly. The cable in the top right now goes into say another room and repeats the process again. It takes a permanent line, neutral and circuit protective conductor into the next ceiling rows and is terminated in the loop terminal for the line, the neutral terminal and the earth terminal within the accessory and the process is repeated again. When working in ceiling roses and pendants in domestic dwellings, you may also be faced with cable colors pre-2004. Pre-2004, the line conductor was red, the neutral conductor was black, and as it still is, the circuit protective conductor was identified with green and yellow sleeving. The process is identical, just care must be taken to make sure that you're familiar with both new and old colors when working within ceiling roses and pendants in order that we make the appropriate connections. I hope this presentation has been some help.